What is up everybody? It is Kevin Shea from Bao Bay. Tonight, we're gonna be venturing to one of the most renowned and largest night markets in Taiwan, the Siling Night Market. Now this night market is filled to the brim with endless entertainment, fun, and food. I'm gonna be taking you guys on a full immersive eating experience so you can get a taste of what it's like in the iconic Taiwanese night market scene. So come along, enjoy the ride, let's get started. Woo! Here we are right in the midst of the night market and it is absolutely packed right now. Everybody is out with their friends and family just trying to have a good time. So without further ado, let's go find some amazing food. So it looks like we've just arrived at this stall and they sell Taiwanese sausage with sticky rice. This is also known as large sausage inside small sausage. And I think we're gonna give it a try. It truly just tastes like an incredible Chinese hot dog. Sausage in the middle, but instead of bun, they use sticky rice. This is an incredible dish. Mmm. It looks like there's a little bit of pickled cucumber in here too. Adds a nice little light, refreshing kick to this very savory dish. Mmm. Small sausage wrapped in large sausage. This is the way to go. Perfect way to start the night. Let us continue the adventure. So this is grilled steak about to be incinerated into oblivion. And here we have the grilled steak. I definitely don't have enough hands to eat this, um, so I'm gonna find a place to sit down real quick and try it out. I just found a place to sit down right in front of this Nike store. Let's finally give this steak a try. That is exactly what you would expect from a grilled steak, honestly. It just tastes like steak, really. I, I can kind of taste the charcoaly flavor from the blowtorch, but other than that, it just tastes like regular old steak. There is a little bit of spiciness on it. Definitely worth a try though. It looks like they grill all sorts of wonderful meats over here. We have chicken, squid, and those over there, those are chicken hearts. And that's exactly what I ordered and I'm super excited to try it. Here we have a skewers of pure chicken hearts. This looks absolutely magnificent. Let's give this a try. Mm. That seriously tastes nothing like you'd imagine a chicken heart to taste like. It's so fragrant, perfect amount of spice on it. That is just a pretty good dish. Who doesn't love devouring chicken hearts? Nom, nom, nom. have a grilled snail stand. <laughs> so it looks like the snails come in these different types of flavors right here. Which one do I want to go with? Let's go with the teriyaki one. This one sounds good. Look at this popsicle of massive grilled snails teriyaki style. Let's give one a try. Oh, I will say the natural flavor of these snails is really, really good. I do not think it complements the teriyaki flavor well though. If I were to go back and do this, I would probably get just like a regular soy sauce or salt and pepper flavor. I think the teriyaki is a little too heavy um, for a dish that already has a very heavy natural flavor. But nonetheless, still a, still a pretty good dish. Let's move on. Approaching 
having our first beverage stand of the night, which sounds like a good change of pace right about now. Whole bunch of flavors here, but I'm definitely gonna go with what the cow recommends, which is papaya with milk. Can't deny the cow. Look at this incredible cup of papaya milk. It looks so thick, so juicy, so ready to be gulped down. Let's give it a try. That is exactly what you need right now. After you've just been eating all night at the night market, you reach the halfway point, you need a refreshing beverage, you go for papaya milk. The perfect palate cleanser. Now it's time to continue the rest of our food adventure. Let's do it. Check out this roulette of oyster pancakes being pan fried. These look beautiful golden brown. I definitely want one of these. This looks absolutely pan fried to perfection. Look at this sweet and sour sauce atop a perfect golden brown omelet. As you can see, the little bit of egg and starch mixed together with the oyster inside. This is just magic right here. Magic in an omelet. Oh. Truly one of my favorite dishes of all time. This is absolutely incredible. It is just loaded with oysters as you can see here. For every bite you get a single oyster. And this is as simple as it gets. You have starch, egg, oyster, and lettuce. Four ingredients working perfectly in harmony. That's really all you need when you're cooking. A match made in heaven. So there's a Michelin Guide food stall right here and they sell vermicelli which is a very famous style of noodles in the Taiwan cuisine and there is a Michelin Guide right there telling everybody that this place is the place to come to and I'm gonna listen to him and get a bowl of this see just how good it is and there she is mixing up the noodles right now Topping it off with what looks like a soy, garlic, and spicy base sauces. And right there in the back, she's loading up the intestines. Ooh. Let's see if it's worth the Michelin Guide. Mm. That is a truly fragrant dish. You can taste all sorts of spices in there. You have the soy sauce, you have the garlic, you have the spice, you have the cilantro. The intestine flavor is so incredibly strong too. Mm. I love these big pieces of intestine right here. Ooh, look at that. Don't worry, it fell back in the bowl. Straight into my mouth it goes. Mm. Lovely dish. Definitely worthy of being listed on the Michelin Guide. Ooh, what do we have here? Wow, frog eggs. And it looks like they sell an assortment of drinks here and I am pretty quenched. And it looks like this big bowl of jelly just bathing in ice cold lime water is their main ingredient. Let's get some frog eggs. So she's basically asking me whether or not I wanted sweet or sour. And I thought sour sounded kind of good right now. So basically the same thing, but she adds a little bit of lemon inside. And here we have our beautiful beverage right here. Frog egg drink. Whoa! She was not kidding when she said sour. There is definitely a nice sour tangy kick to this drink, but I love it. It definitely adds a perfect amount of tanginess. And these uh, these tapioca pearls are basically what they call the frog eggs. And it really does look like frog eggs here. This is a really great drink. Definitely pick this up. Right behind me you see here at the beautiful temple right in the middle of Sui Night Market and this definitely just makes this night market one of a kind. This looks so incredible right now. 
I mean, just look at those lanterns dancing in the wind. Truly mesmerizing. So there is a secret about the Silly Night Market. They actually have an underground food court, which is something that you do not see in any other night market in Taiwan, so we gotta go check it out right now. A full-size market underneath of an already massive market and as you can see there are so many people here so we've stumbled upon this cozy restaurant in the underground layer of the Sydney night market we're gonna go ahead and take a seat relax for a bit and order see what's on their menu and here it comes right now our plate of shrimp fried rice and this is what they recommended me they said this is their most popular dish so now let's try our shrimp fried rice Oh, that is so hot. That is really good. You got shrimp, rice, eggs, scallions, a little bit of soy sauce, a little bit of oyster sauce. That's all you really need to make the perfect fried rice. Nice massive chunks of shrimp. I probably shouldn't have ordered such a massive dish after eating all the things that I've eaten today. But sometimes when you're at a Taiwan night market, you just can't resist. I just finished that massive plate of shrimp fried rice and that definitely put me over the edge. I think I have to take a break from food for a little bit. But you know what that means, it is dessert time. Here we are at the Durian King, a place that solely sells durian desserts. Um, and durian, as you know, is an accursed fruit. You either love it or you hate it. And I'm definitely on the hate spectrum of this fruit, but you know what? I'm in Taiwan, there's no regrets. We're gonna go ahead and try this durian soft serve ice cream right here. Am I gonna regret this? There's only one way to find out. Here we go. That's actually not too bad. The minute you put it in your mouth, you get a overwhelming sensation of just pungent fruit, for sure. There is no doubt about that. But the more you eat it, the more you really get a sense for its actual natural sweetness. I would actually get this again if I came back. Wow. Balbe approved. I just discovered a treasure chest here in the Silly Market. Look at what I have just found. A vending machine stocked with black Pikachus. Oh my gosh. We're definitely gonna have to give this a try. Yes! <laughs> I got it! <laughs> Woo! Yes! I have just achieved a one-of-a-kind black Pikachu here in Taiwan.
So this just about concludes our amazing sibling market adventures. I hope I was able to give you guys a glimpse of the incredible food and experience that Taiwan has to offer. Definitely come check out the Silly Night Market and Taiwan when you get a chance. Now I know what you're thinking, what is the best thing that I ate today? Personally, I love the small sausage wrapped in large sausage. There's just something about the balance of the rice and the salty sausage and the little bit of pickles inside that just give it a perfect street, authentic, fast food experience. Other than that, I still thought all the dishes were amazing and you should try every single one of them, especially the durian ice cream. Even if you don't like durian, give it a try. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this adventure. Please stay tuned for the next episode of our Taiwan Chronicles. This is Kevin Che from Balbay signing out.